Hey YouTubers, in this video I'm going to talk about why I switched over to Total Wireless. So let's go back a few years. I was a long time Verizon customer, then their prices just got ridiculous, so I jumped over to Straight Talk. I was relatively happy with Straight Talk, um, but I felt like there were better deals out there. And recently I had seen Sprint do a $15 unlimited plan and I was like wow I gotta get into this then I started looking at the Sprint fan plans and I was like dang every one of these phones is ridiculously overpriced and the ones that I wanted they were out of stock so I should have went on to eBay and found a used one uh, and went that route probably but uh, I didn't so I missed out on that deal and tons of people have what I'll call a $25 a month plan as, as long as you have four people willing to sign up. So I have my three immediate family members here and then I had my uh, my dad who uh, lives in another state. So that basically gave me the ability to do one of the multi, uh, we'll call it multi-person or multi-line deals that they had. But let's go over these first because I I actually started with the single plan, $35, which gives you 5 gigs. That's not, you know, that's not too bad. Um, right now they're giving away 5 gigs free for a new line, so, and that doesn't expire. So if you never go over your 5, you've always got 5 in the, basically in your bank. Now, um, another plan is the uh, for single line is the $25 plan that provides no data uh, but you get unlimited talk and text this is great for uh, people that have Wi-Fi access all the time or you know don't use the uh, the data that's a super cheap way to to have a nice phone um, now uh, we'll go over these other ones two people $60 15 gigs Three people, $85 with 20 gigs, and the four-person one or four lines, 100 for 25 gigs. So that's what we did. Pretty happy with that. Now, other reasons for selecting it. Total Wireless uses the Verizon network. So that is pretty awesome to get to use that and have that reliability and that coverage. Negatives, though. I do believe the speeds of uh, data on your cell phone have been slowed down. Um, so if you buy one of those awesome phones like the iPhone 10 or the Samsung S9 and you're expecting to have this awesome picture all the time for your streaming videos, you're probably only going to get like 480p, which is DVD quality. Shrink down to that size screen though is probably not that bad. All right, so... The other thing that was nice about this was the um, the phones that they offer. Um, their prices weren't too bad. I mean, obviously the higher end stuff is isn't cheap, but uh, there's some decent phones in here that that the family would want at not too ridiculous a price. And they run these these specials. You got to go out and look for them. Um, I was able to get TW50 off using that discount code uh, a couple months ago. I got 50% off a phone, uh, basically up to $200. I would get $100 off. Uh, if it was $100, you'd get $50 off. So um, if it was over, you know, if it was 1000 you only got $100 off. So that's how that deal works. Now they're doing TW25 off, which is uh, not quite as good, but you can still get some pretty good prices. Now the other thing that they have going is they have um, occasionally they'll have a decent phone in here uh, that comes free with a phone plan. So I was able to get my phone for free and uh, then I went back and I switched to a different phone. But uh, I'm going to be using the LG Fiesta 2 LTE uh, which I got for free. I actually paid uh, $50 for the J7 Sky Pro which... Um, Pretty happy with the phone overall, but the um, it doesn't hotspot. And I've heard that the LG phones will hotspot with them, so we'll see. Um, if not, there may be a uh, issue with me continuing to be a 
total wireless customer. I may, may have to ditch the family and let them uh, stay on here, and I'll go um, jump on another plan. So uh, other phones that come free. This one you don't want. Definitely don't want that one. Um, so you may have to, at the moment, at least pay a little money out of pocket to get a decent phone. All right, so other than that, uh, customer service is not going to be like Verizon. Um, they just don't have as many people. And uh, obviously their, their website is kind of weak. But, uh, you know, that, that could have factored in for some people. For me, it mainly boiled down to um, the plan, the price of the plans, the Verizon network, and... A decent variety of phones that were affordable. Alright, well thanks for checking out my video.